It's good. Oh, hello. Power. <laughs> okay, well, you, Gina will get my levels down wherever they work. And uh, it's good to see everybody here. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Yeah. Let us begin in prayer. Dear Heavenly Mother, Father, everything, God, in us, through us, and all around us, thank you for this day. Thank you for this moment to get together in praise and worship. Lord, may we begin our Easter celebration. May we rest in thee, in thy presence, our refuge our solace, and stillness. We are grateful for all that we have, grateful for all the many smallest of blessings that they remind us of your presence in our lives. May we make a space greater for the presence of the Christ within us on this day, that we may grow it as we worship, that we may find inspiration, that we may find, be inspirited and find the spirit to make ripples of love and consciousness wherever we go throughout the world that we may be an instrument to assist your blessing in all those in need, everywhere, all around. Bless us and keep us and guide us. Bless all our friends and neighbors and relatives everywhere. And may we, in our compassion and love, help the world to bless the least, the lost, and the last. Amen. It's good to see so many people here today. It's nice to see uh, faces, and, and especially from up here. I like being up here a little bit, just because <laughs> it's a different view. And, and, and welcome to all our people on, online. Um, yeah, it's good to have you here. I don't know if you'll see this in the future or later today or, or you're here now, but we're glad to share that which we share here at Unity of Ocala. And um, you'll know you're sharing it when you feel a very slight bend at the corner of your mouth. <laughs> um, so, yes, welcome. Happy Easter. We're, we're, I can see a, a celebration coming on, but um, we're going to start with a music video all Creatures of Our God and King, by the Mormon Tabernacle Choir.
Such power. Wow. Yes. Now we will, we all say together, Unity's foundational principle together, there is only one power, one presence, active in the universe and in our lives. God the good omnipotence. So we, we are a thriving spiritual community here to inspire one another to realize God's love. Centered in the Spirit of God, we see peace, love, and abundance in an awakening world. And the daily word for today is Easter, Sunday, April 17th, 2022. Through Christ, I rise again. Is that a good information? Can we, can we do that? Through Christ, I rise again. Yeah, thank you. On this glorious Easter Sunday, the sun rises on a new day. I am glorious too. Called to life and shining with joy because the Christ is risen in me. Just as the tomb was rolled away to reveal an empty tomb where Jesus' crucified body had been, I roll away the stones that all has kept me entombed and leave my crucifixion experiences behind. Easter is the celebration of Jesus' overcoming death. It is also an invitation to celebrate my victory over all I have survived. It is the celebration of triumph of truth and the resurrection of the Christ within. The trials of the world are always temporary. Today I roll away the stone of limitation and am resurrected into the truth of God. With joy, I rise again. And the verse for today is from John chapter 11, verse 25. I am the resurrection and the life. Beautiful. We'll have another music video. You raise me up. That's great. Oh, my soul so weary. 
morning. How's that? There we go. Yes, can you hear me? Oh, it's going to be one of those Sundays, isn't it? <laughs> See the tissues out. Oh, you can just feel it, can't you? All of it right now. Easter, Passover, Ramadan. Right now, right now. Oh, I'm going to stay seated for just a little bit. Oh. So let's just take this time to get prepared and to go deeply within. This is our our time with God for ourselves, our time to go deep within and bring this energy together and outward for the world, especially right now. So I invite you to get comfortable, take off anything from your lap that might distract you, take in some nice deep cleansing breaths, and just let go. Close your eyes if you like. Observe your body if there's any tightness, any aches, anything. This is the time to just let that be eased, healed, released. There are miracles happening right now, right now, today. Oh. Invite you to go deep within, letting go of all the things of the world everything that is on your heart, your mind. Not for now. This is for God. Let go. As you journey deeper and deeper into your core, allow your inner senses to guide you. Your inner sight, inner hearing, inner sense of being, inner feeling, inner knowing. And imagine yourself a beautiful spring day, everything looking beautiful around you, nature at its full glory, shining sun, singing birds, but you hear a rumble feel something coming, exciting you somehow, inner body is sensing something, the rumbling gets louder and louder, the sky above you begins to darken, you sense something is coming, you're not afraid, just a shift, a change, the sky is getting darker and darker, the rumbling louder, and louder, you continue deeper into the trees, which you feel are protecting you, guiding you. You breathe in the rich aroma of coming rain, spring, life, Mother Earth, thunder, you hear the crack, you feel the bolt the jolt, the light, the lightning. Mother Nature preparing to open up and drench. The clouds do open and a downpour ensues. The trees nudge you towards the side of a hill where you see an opening, a cave. You scurry in there. It's warm. It's dark, but you can see. You settle there on a large rock and just rest. Just rest. Nowhere to go. Nowhere to be. And you listen. You feel that hill, that mountain surrounding you, hugging you, keeping you, holding you, safe. You relax and you hear the rage of Mother Nature gushing nutrients 
from the sky to the plants, to the trees, to the forest, to the earth. The cycle of life. It's healing. You feel the power. The earth soaking in. You hear it now as a rhythm, almost harmonic. Echoing through that small chamber. As you enjoy the sound of the pouring rain, you hear it hitting the sheet rocks outside, the wind. You feel a cleansing, a total cleansing in the safety of this womb, a cleansing, a healing for all that you might have been afraid of, fearful for, blocking you, it's being washed away. can't even cling to any of that is no longer necessary it's not for you to bear you let it go you let it gush away from you as it continues you feel a complete emptying an emptying of everything an emptying an opening like a chalice like a beautiful instrument you are the instrument. God is the music, the maestro, the master, the song. You just open to be played. Just open to be filled with that and nothing else. Nothing else matters. And the quiet, the quiet listen. Listen, feel, observe to what is being revealed to you in this cleansing healing, the quiet. As you continue to empty and open, you know that something is filling you, filling you, flowing through you, overpouring, healing, joy, light, gushing through. You're allowing it, not blocking. It is there that joy, that peace, when all else is gone, that, that, that. And as you feel this feeling of light, of joy, of wholeness, your heart expands, your little dwelling begins to light up. There is a crack at the front of the cave. Light fills the darkness. You are caught up in this beam, this powerful beam of light. Let it hold you and lift you, soak through you, embrace you. Of 
nothing is quite the same. Whatever was blocking that passage is now rolling away. You're beginning to see, to see things clearly. It's beautiful. That darkness you were in is beautiful. The light shines brightly in, pulling you out of the smallness into this glorious garden. <laughs> blooming. Have these flowers ever been this pretty? So bright, these trees so green, are these new colors to my eyes? Body feels wonderful, strong, filled. You feel loved to your core and grateful, grateful to be part of God's journey. Oh, it feels so good. You feel a connection to all of this around the globe, this light, this power. It's in the children, it's in the mothers, it's in the families, it's in the leaders. It's here, it's palpable, we feel it, we rise to it. There is a resurrection happening right now, right now. Allow it to be in your heart, to lift you up. You can stand on mountains to lift you up to walk on stormy seas you are strong strong on those shoulders we are raised up to all that we can be thank you God as we prepare to bring our attention back to this space and time. Let us set a sacred intention as the worker bees of God to be this, to be this profound sense of God in this world right now. Right now, to join those standing up and singing the light. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God, for encouraging us to come together, to join with each other, to be reminded of the power of your presence. For it is you in us that achieves mighty things. Thank you, God. Amen. I'm reminded again, those of you who know me know how much the words to hallelujah mean to me. Leonard Cohen's original refrains, actually. Leonard Cohen was the original writer. He wrote 85 stanzas to that, based on Old Testament scripture. He is a Jewish man and a seeker for God, who seemed to be his passion to find God, to find meaning in life. He didn't find it in the churches. He didn't find it in the calls at night. He didn't find it from someone who sees the light. No, he saw it through Delilah and Samson. when She tied him to a kitchen chair, broke his throne, and cut his hair, his power off. And from his lips, she drew the hallelujah. He's found it in passion of a woman. He's found it in the walk of life, in the cold and the broken. That's where God is. In the cold and the broken hallelujah. That's where we find it. And I can't think of a better place to pull our hallelujahs from, from a world post-pandemic, in war. We're going to pull that hallelujah out of that brokenness. Yes? Yes. So we're going to go back in time a little bit. This morning, 2022 years ago or so, we're going to let Peter Marshall guide us through this morning. Take this in. And imagine your journey through your life and those times of hallelujah through the brokenness and the pain. 
So I can't imagine what this little group was going through. Let's look at it through Mary's eyes. Yes. Spring breaks and the wind blows in Palestine. The night of waiting is past and dawn is breaking. The dark shadow of Gethsemane, shaped like a skull, has become a cross on Calvary's hill. In the garden of Joseph, blossoms bloom and wave in the breeze. Buds are stretching to the morning light. The mousy gray leaves of the olive trees rustle in the breeze. Upon the thorny tree are glints of red that were not there the day before. Hmm. Against the great gray tomb, a heavy stone has rested. Palm branches and flowers are strewn over the tomb and leading to it. In this garden, too, it's very quiet. Birds are just waking. Their twittering seems hushed in the morning air. Mary Magdalene, still weeping, lingered at the edge of the garden. Along with the disciples, she had come to find a dead body to finish anointing her precious Lord. And had been shocked to find the grave empty. Can you imagine? She thought it had been broken open. Grave robbers, maybe. She did not know. She could not think clearly. Only one thought absorbed her soul. The body of the Lord was lost. Had to be found. I've got to find him. She thought it had been broken open for sure. She ran as if she'd never ran before toward the edge of the garden with the speed and unawareness of time and distance that grief or fear or love can impart. Nothing matters but this moment. Searching, 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 she returned to the tomb. With disbelief, she knelt at the sepulcher, weeping. She turned back and saw Jesus standing, but knew not that it was he. Woman, why weepest thou? Who seeketh thou? She thought he was the gardener. She fell at his feet, his eye, her eyes brimming with tears, her head down, sobbing. Sir, if you have taken him, tell me. Tell me where last you have laid him. I will take him away. To her tortured mind, there was a gleam of hope that perhaps the gardener, for some reason known only to him, had moved the body. She was red-eyed. She had not slept since Friday. There had been no time for food. She had been living on grief and love. And Jesus spoke to her, Mary. His voice startled her. She would have recognized it anywhere. She lifted her head with a jerk, blinked back the tears, and looked deeply into his eyes. She knew. Her heart told her first, then her mind. And looking into his face, she whispered, Rabboni, my Lord. Can you imagine what she felt? The loveliest music of that first Easter is the sound of those words echoing in the garden. His gentle Mary and her breathless master. Oh, sweet. Mary had come prepared to weep. Now she could worship. She had come expecting to see him lying in the tomb. She had found him walking in the newness of resurrected life. Perhaps a bit different. He was there. And with the beloved disciples, their personal conviction rings like a bell through the pages of the New Testament, steady and strong. That which we have heard with our own ears, seen with our own eyes, handled with our own hands, declare we unto you. A wrestling as of the breath of God moved through the garden. Strong, immeasurable life had been breathed back into a body that had been laid upon a cold stone Flat slab. The man had risen, had come out of the grave clothes, walked to the threshold of the tomb, stood swaying perhaps on wounded feet, and had walked out into the dewy garden, alive forevermore. Different perhaps, alive forevermore. It was their continuing fellowship with their risen Lord through the years which became the integrating, guiding, sustaining power of their lives. It was their continuing fellowship 
with their risen Lord through the years which became all to them, the power they needed to overcome everything. They did not have that before, even through his teachings, his words. It was the knowing that he had broken, broken the boundaries and that we can too, and that that is merely a veil, a veil that becomes very thin at Easter. They had boldness, courage, and power, qualities they had not had until after the first Easter morning. They now felt that they were still in touch with him in a different way, yes, but in a more powerful way. They knew that he was still with them, just as he promised. Lo, I am with you always, in all ways. Jesus' passion was of freedom and fairness, of love, of the courage of compassion, and most of all, of overcoming. In the world, there is trial and tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. I have overcome the world. We see it right now. We see it happening in children around the globe, creating songs for Ukraine. We see it in the mothers packing backpacks and strollers full of help. We see it in the voices standing up and singing, hallelujah. We see it in the soldiers on the front line singing anyway. Let the bombs drop, let the bullets fly. We will sing with our friends in America. We will sing with our friends in Belgium. We will sing with our friends in France. That is who we are. We are raising up, hallelujah. That's where God is. So we're going to play a song, a hallelujah song that was rewritten by grade school teachers in Belgium and their students sing it and let us feel their hallelujahs as Ukraine rises in a resurrection for the world to see the way we can be. Yes?
Awesome. Forward, please, while we prepare to bless our tithes and offerings. We will together, when they get here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Divine love flowing in and through me blesses and multiplies. All that I am, all that I have, all that I give, and all that I receive, and I am grateful. And together we will sing one stanza of Surely the Presence. Are we ready? Yes. Surely the presence of the Lord is in this place. I can feel God's mighty power and God's grace. There's a holy hush around us. I see glory on each face. Surely the presence of the Lord is in this place. Now we'll have the prayer, prayer box blessing. This is not the prayer box, excuse me. This is our prayer box. <laughs> it belongs to the church. It belongs to us. We are the church, and it is ours. And if anybody has any prayers to put in it, please do so. It, uh, it, it is blessed here at this church through our practice of prayer, and we, we bless it again and send it to Unity Village where it's prayed over for 30 days, 24 hours a day. And the energy of all of us travels with them. And they move forward in the right and perfect place and time. Um, also, it is time for the prayer chaplains to stand and please be recognized. Um, prayer is prayer is the um, foundation of unity in unity churches. We have a prayer chaplain on duty today who will be up in the front of the uh, chapel here today to pray with you or pray for you. And um, thank you, thank you, prayer chaplains. And um, yeah, it's the foundation, the the bedrock. And so, please feel free. Uh, blessing of the children is the next line on the agenda. Uh, we have no children. It is typical for us to all bless the child within us. So may we do that. We love you. We appreciate you. We see you loved, guided, and protected. And we empower you to do great things. <laughs> Announcements. Are there any visitors in the audience that we can um, recognize today? Good. Okay. That's fine. We, we'd like to give you a blessing today. Do we have the blessing up? Blessing of the three times. We love you. We bless you. We behold the Christ in you. We love you. We bless you. We behold the Christ in you. We love you. We bless you. We behold the Christ in you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Namaste. Um, Unity discussions with Reverend Lori will not be held today. This is Easter, and so uh, it's been a great worship service, to tell you the truth. I, I, I have, I'm filled. I'm filled today. Yeah. Um, any, anybody interested in being part of the worship team, please see Reverend Laurie or another board member. This is another opportunity to give back to the church. No expense, no, no experience necessary. And any other announcements? Joanne, oh, oh, William, yes, sir. Hello, I'm William. I'm the board president. And I'm not here as a board president. I'm a gentleman.
has a dog that he talks to to see if he tells you the truth. And it's a very dark place. People are very dark. Like when you put on a fear of the dark. So if anybody has a very dark spot in their life, we say to you, we say to you, we say to you, we say to you, if they ask you what it's about, we say to you, we talk to you. That's great. Yeah. Thank you, Dave. Thank you, William. It's a large blue, black, and white feather. It's a nice thing. Where did you get your name from? I, I, I mentioned your name, Joanne, because we have the uh, auction coming up. And we can bring these items to church. Is there a special place we can put them? Or Okay. It's that time again. We'll have another one. And they're successful. And they're fun. Thank you. We'll close out our service with the prayer of protection. Would everybody please stand if you're comfortable doing so? And with with fervor on this Easter. Yes, yes, fervor. Yes. The light of God surrounds us. The love of God enfolds us. The power of God protects us. And, and the, the presence, presence of God, God watches, watches over us. Wherever we are, God is. And all is well. Amen. <laughs> Yay, God. Yay, God. Go, team God. <laughs>